Welcome back to the show. It is time for us to talk about what is trending out there on the internet. Yes. Uh, Lots of weird stuff, actually. I, you know, you can follow both of us on Twitter. And uh, people tweet us all the time. We get tweets from viewers. Of course, that's where you can also find out about tons of contests we do on the show. And, and then some people follow Fiona and they don't follow me. And that's totally cool. That's just Adrian Grenier, but we'll get that, no, to that in a moment. Adrian and 3,000 other people, but that's cool. Um, the tweet I woke up to this morning came uh, from somebody called the Wax Wax Perts. Now, they're calling themselves Wax Perts. And the tweet that they sent to me, and uh, we can look at it right now, said, Hey, Fiona Forbes, are you defuzzed for the holidays? Pop by and we'll take <laughs> care of you. Oh, wow. On the house from the wax perts. Merry Christmas. Well, I can tell you one thing. You I know, know that's a couple of guys, right? I can tell you one <laughs> thing I know about the internet. If a stranger offers you a Brazilian bikini wax, Probably not a good idea. Wow. Well, <laughs> they, they could be legitimate, but there's well, no website. Yeah, there's oh, there it is. It's waxbar.ca. I'm sure they're professionals, but it is oh, a hey, strange Mike, tweet. They specialize in boy zillions. Maybe oh. they meant you. What do they call it? Home of the back sack and crack. Vancouver's <laughs> wax first. Stranger danger. Wow. Stranger danger. And Mike is. Uh, I don't even know if I have all three. Yeah, I've got all those. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> a couple of them, anyway. Uh, Mikey was a little jealous this morning because for the third or fourth time, Adrian Grenier of Entourage favorited one of my tweets. I understand. I understand why Adrian would find you a more intriguing person to follow than he would find me. But he did favorite one of my tweets, so I had to lord that over you today. I'm not bitter. I don't care. Don't be the bitter. See? Favorite. Maybe he will follow you one of these days, Mike. He I... was on our show. We aired it yesterday. You can find it on our YouTube channel if you want to check it out. You know what the funniest thing is? What? I sent out a tweet that's almost exactly the same. And he didn't follow And he you. didn't favorite it. And, and I think, let me see you. that again, because let me see what time you sent yours out. Oh my God. Same time? Before? No, after? I sent mine out at like 2.15. <laughs> so let me get this straight. He's not following you. He didn't retweet you, and he didn't favorite you? Fiona. Is it the sweater, Mike? Fiona. Social media is not about popularity. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, there we go. Now, we got something called tree mail today. Yeah, for the first time ever. I, I was very excited about this. Uh, we were talking about the White family uh, from here in Vancouver uh, who uh, sent in a contest entry. Was it for the coffee machine? They, yeah, they won our care coffee maker. Yeah, so uh, they sent in this great email, and they were talking about their family Christmas tree uh, where the mother had turned all the kids' medals and trophies and stuff into ornaments for the there Christmas it is. tree. They sent us photos. There's so thank the tree. you to the White family. It's a beautiful Christmas tree. And one of the photos, they actually had Urban Rush on in the background. Oh, we're going to uh, see it. Look, there's a little medal from someone. Isn't that cute? I love really homemade pinchy. Christmas decorations in there just to make the, the holiday festive. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Put on this show right now with us in we our holiday sweaters. We both really grouchy in that. Yeah, that <laughs> the screen grab. That was our angry moment during the show. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we love photos like that. If anybody, if you just want to send in random pictures to us, we or love please, that kind of please, stuff. please, please follow so please Mike on Twitter. Uh, I don't need sympathy you don't care, followers. do you? Now, you're going to gross me out right no, now. No, I'm not going to gross you out. I just, I like it when we actually see Darwinism, uh, intelligent design, uh, uh, sort of a, a leap forward in species happening in front of our eyes. And this is a literal leap forward. Cockroaches, everybody knows them. They're disgusted by them. You see them every now and then, whether you're traveling or whether you're lucky enough to encounter one in or Vancouver. Or you're at Mike's house. But guess what they've discovered now? Leaping cockroaches. Hooray! I don't know if I want to watch. Here's the leaping cockroach. Don't you have to play the video? Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Watch it. Watch it. Ah, gross. I that like looks the like music. a grasshopper. Are we sure that's a cockroach? That's a cockroach. It's a cucaracha, oh, yeah, it man. That's a cucaracha. I thought cockroach. We already knew this about cockroaches. They can fly, too. Cockroaches can fly? Yes. They can, right? Am I crazy? Didn't we have those on the show, the flying cockroach things? Maybe. Yeah, they we have had wings. hissing cockroaches. Yeah, and they have wings underneath the little, the little things. I Get have on to, the Google kit. Sorry, I have to call my entomologist. Okay, so let's check in uh, with <laughs> Kyle and our intern Cosmo and see how the Christmas sweater is going. How's it going, guys? It's going all right. It's going all right. Thanks. I'm seeing a real teacher-student uh, relationship occurring over there as well. You know, this guy's, this guy's doing pretty good. You gotta uh, say. Sorry, can can we have a look at your progress so far? Is of there any way to, to hold that up, Kyle? 
Make sure the glue's... Oh, is this one light up, too? Oh, yeah, this one's got 20 beautiful. LED lights. That is beautiful. Couple and of course... Uh, Cosmo, bravo. It's the Cosmo special. Yeah. Kyle, uh, we were talking to you earlier, but uh, you still have about how many sweaters left? Uh, probably between 100 to 150. I haven't really checked recently. But yeah. and, and people can have them in time for their uh, tacky holiday Christmas party uh, if they order now? Yeah, if you order it by this Sunday night, you could have it by um, the 23rd, which is a Friday, guaranteed. Anyway, okay. And there are so many different sweaters. Of course, Mike and I are wearing them too, and so is everyone in our control room. So let's have a little looky-loo and see how festive our control room looks right now. I think uh, Adam, Adam is a ham. Lisa, look move out of the way. Look at JT. Lisa, get out of the way. <laughs> JT, you look like the flying V for the Canucks. That's fantastic. Oh, great. oh my God, Rob's asleep. Yeah, and now someone's got their balls in the camera too, so that's not helping anything. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Of course, you can find all the featured Christmas sweaters you've seen in our program on uh, the website christmassweaters.ca. Go there, you can order, guarantee it'll be here if you're having a party. I think next Friday's the tacky Christmas party, major holidays. So. I think so. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us, including Michael Eckford on Twitter. We're going to take a quick...